So as we mentioned before the break, Bill Maher speaking out quite forcefully as he calls on President Biden to drop out of the race, saying that he's done, quote, noble service to the country, but that it's time to step aside. Watch. Someone has to convince President Biden that if he runs again, he's going to turn the country back over to Trump and go... <laughs> and go down in history as Ruth Bader Biden. What matters is voters think Biden's too old. What matters is he's going to lose to Trump. You can be a national treasure and still be too old for the job. If I'm on a plane and the pilot says, this is your captain, Buzz Aldrin, <laughs> I'm getting off. I'm getting off. All right, let's bring in Kellyanne Conway, former senior counselor to President Trump. Now president of KA Consulting and Robert Wolf, former economic advisor to President Obama, founder of CEO and CEO of 32 Advisors, both Fox News contributors. I want to go first to this video. This is just the latest example of one of those moments where people watching it are a little nervous about what's happening next. Watch this. I hope this experience for the speaker has been one of a personal revelation. I'm not being facetious. I, uh, um, anyway. We all lose our train of thought once in a while, Robert, but it seems to happen all the time. Yeah, listen, these things don't bug me. I know they bug a lot of people, but they don't, just like last week when Trump said he beat Obama, that didn't bug me either. We are going to have two choices, and the choice is going to be Trump versus Biden. And I'm all in for Biden. I think if we had a debate on legislative victories and what's happened in the last few years, I'm happy to take that debate on. I think what Bill Maher says, he's a, I love him as a comedian, but I don't think his political um, views are going to make a difference in the final uh, outcome. Well, because there's no one else. I mean, that's the problem, right? That's where party, we are. That, that's the problem. You don't have anyone else. But RFK Jr. thinks there is someone else, uh, and he is now expected to announce that he's going to run as an independent. He put out a lengthy video. Here's just a little piece of it. Watch. So how are we going to win against the established Washington interests? It's not through playing the game by the corrupt rules that the corrupt powers and the vested interests have rigged to keep us all in their thrall. Kellyanne, your thoughts on uh, what Mar had to say and RFK's uh, entrance as an independent likely? Well, he is a funny comedian. I've known him for decades. He looks and sounds pretty good for 67, as opposed to Joe Biden, where these aren't gaffes or even losing train of thought. This is a question of acuity and agility. And I'm really surprised that someone as smart as you would say, I'm all in for Biden, especially because you have a background as a very successful guy in finance. You're fine with Bidenomics, whatever that is. But there's somebody, Bill Maher is right, RFK Jr. is right, Martha's right. There is somebody close by. Her name's Kamala Harris, and nobody even says her name. Because if you think they're worried about Joe Biden making it, you ought to talk to Democrats about Kamala Harris. They want to talk to you about the weather and the ski season, Martha, before her. It would be so easy to say to Joe Biden, you're a, quote, national treasure. You got rid of Donald Trump. You finally got the brass ring. You're a president. And now you can do one more thing in history. You can elevate and help us elect the first female, first female of color president. They can't do that because it's Kamala Harris and no one has confidence in her competence. So RFK Jr. said on the podcast recently he takes more votes from Trump than Biden. The newest Echelon Insights poll says otherwise. He takes about 17 percent from Democrats and he takes about 11 percent from Republicans. But I do think there could be third party candidates out there that we're not even thinking of. Some billionaire tech or crypto person, I don't even know who could say, I'm worth $7 billion. I'm willing to put up one-seventh of that to see where this all goes. Joe Biden's floor and ceiling and everybody's polling are dangerously close together. You couldn't put an inchworm between his floor and ceiling. He's usually somewhere between 42 and 43 percent in the polls. That's problematic for the Democratic Party that somehow insists on sticking with someone that everybody knows um, is turning the White House into an assisted living facility, and it's offensive. All right. Um, let me get your take on this, Robert. This is a poll that shows when you put other candidates into the mix. Because one of the things that has struck me for months and months, and, and other people as well, you've got 70% don't want Biden to run, 60% don't want Trump to run. Most people say they don't want this to be the matchup. Uh, my, I, I think it's pretty safe to say we're going to get other alternatives in this mix. So the, you can see the top two numbers. They're close, 39, 36. Uh, this is a three-point margin of uh, error here. 
five percent libertarian, four percent no labels, and four percent Green Party. Uh, and now that independent by RFK Jr., if that gets in the mix as well, that's going to have it's going to put some of these under pressure. What's so, the impact? So quickly, I was named after Robert F. Kennedy, the father, and my brother's John, born in sixty sixty two. I was vice chairman of the RFK Center, so I know the family very well. I don't think Robert F. Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, is going to be that relevant to the outcome. I do think a third party can, someone like a no labels. Are you nervous, like a lot of Democrats? I'm not because he's going to damage Biden. I'm not because we don't know who it is. Ralph Nader, Jill Stein, they hurt Democrats. Perot hurt Republicans. We don't know who that person is. We're all just guessing. I don't think until we know the candidate, we'll know the impact. But yes, I think a third party could have an impact on one side or the other. So the but I don't think thing it's Kennedy. About RFK Jr., Kellyanne, is that, um, and you say the polling shows otherwise, but the people who talk about him the most are huge Rogan fans, huge Jordan Peterson fans, a lot of libertarian type anti vaxxers individuals. Yes. Uh, anti well, yes, absolutely. And then, you know, you just have this sort of Democrats being just they want him to go away right they, they are very upset that he's even the family his family's very upset that he's running but he's he's running it's an impressive video that they put out about like people's concerns about the system and you know not having the freedom to choose who they want well the irony is he's a kennedy who can run as an outsider he's always been an outsider and not only are the democrats afraid of him they've completely said there w won't be any kind of debate they're afraid for joe biden to stand next to rfk jr and have to debate these topics. I think the most intractable problem for Biden today is in the new Monmouth polling, no friend to Republican polling. I think they apologize to Jack Chitterelli for getting that one so wrong. But that one says that 76 percent of the country thinks Biden's too old. 55 percent strongly think so, as opposed to 26 percent who strongly think Trump is. Point of that poll that goes to RFK and these third parties, Martha, is that 56 percent of Democrats say Biden's too old. Yeah. The one thing that's not going to change between now and next year is Biden being old. In fact, I'm going to venture, it's going to feel like dog years to all of us. And it's going to go you up by seven. You think that next year he's going to be one year older? Seven. Dog <laughs> years. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the way it works for all of us. Um, thank you very much, Robert. Thank great you. to have you with us, Kellyanne. Great to have you. with. Uh, this story is going to really go on. Uh, there's a lot to talk about there. So we'll see where that all goes as the election gets underway. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.